How's it going everybody? Back at here again with another tutorial video. <clears throat> this tutorial video is going to be different than all my other ones because it's going to be a multiple part tutorial. We're going to get through of the essentials of how to build your own VRChat world using Unity and the VRChat SDK. We will be actually building a world together um, but these next two episodes are going to be the basic tutorials. Now, today is episode one. We're going to be talking about the essentials and a nice tutorial about how Unity works. So today's going to be a short episode. Um, so first things first is the essential stuff. Things you will need to do to continue and things that will be very, very useful for when you're building worlds. You'll be needing to use the Unity version 2017.4.28f1. Uh, link will be in the description to download this Unity version. Uh, you can either get the 32 or 64-bit. I have the 64-bit, as you can see on the desktop here. You'll also be needing the current VRC SDK file. Uh, you can get this from vrchat.net by signing in, going to your downloads, and downloading the VRChat SDK. You'll also be needing Pro Builder, which you can get from the Asset Store, and the Simple Light Pro Placer, which you also can get from the Asset Store. These ones are, they are essential in my mind because they help you all tremendously when building worlds. Some things that you don't need but are really good stuff is the Cubes Tune Shaders. That way you can get some pretty good shaders into your worlds. Invisible shaders, so you can get invisible walls, glasses, whatever. Um, a texture for those invisible shaders, which we'll dive into more once we get into that point. Blender to create your own models. And GIMP to make your own textures. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to double click on Unity, which should open up this. Um, you should, um, as you'll see, you'll see a bunch of my other projects here. Um, but you should see a page where it's going to start saying, you know, hey, this is what, you know, welcome to Unity, either sign in or sign up. You want to sign up, you want to create yourself a Unity account, because this is how we're going to be able to get our assets as well from the asset store. Near the end of the video, you'll be making something similar to this. It could be more of an outside world. We'll be making a nice little dark outside world. But you'll be seeing some things like this. You'll see there's a bunch of reflection probes here. As you'll see here. Reflection probes, you'll be getting a foot reflection probes. You'll have walls. You'll be getting some tables, some prompts to interact with your world. Um, spawners, music in your worlds, and everything like that. Without further ado, let's get started with some of the essential stuff. All right, so for today, we're just gonna be learning. We're gonna be clicking on new right here. This will create a new project, which you will be for your world. This world name, I don't know of a name yet. So usually how I do it is when I start envisioning a world and I want to make a world, I type in project for the code name and I think of a code name. For this code name, it's just gonna be a project camp because it's gonna be a nice little campfire scene with um, a nice starry night, some nice music in the background kind of how I envision like a nice little camp site in the woods. We're going to click on create project because everything here, you want to make sure this is on 3D here. Um, the location, you can change the location if you would like to. Organization will be your account name, so that'll stay the same. And this is either on or off. It depends on what you want to do. Click on create new project. And we have to wait for it to build a new project. Here's what it looks like when you create a brand new project. You'll see right here in the middle, you'll have your scene. This is where all of your stuff will be at. This is where your buildings will be at. This is how you'll interact with your world while you're building your world. On the left here, you'll see your hierarchy. This is where all your things are on the world. As you'll see in this world, we only currently have two objects. We have a camera and we have a light source. We will be getting you could get rid of both, but we'll be keeping some of these just to keep um, the actual world intact currently. At the bottom of your screen here, you'll have your assets. This is your folder, your project folder. 
Um, this starts with the assets folder, which you'll be getting all your assets at and everything you'll be needing to get into the game. On the right here is your inspector tab, as well as some other things like services. By default, you only have inspector and services back here. But as we build more, you'll, you'll be dragging things over to this right side of the screen to help you get more tabs here, to help you get through some new things. So let's start with adding some new things. Whenever you create a new project, you have to re-add all your assets and import them back into this project. The first thing you always wanna add is your VRChat SDK. Just double click on it whenever you download it and it should say decompressing and it will say the import Unity package. You wanna click import and it'll take a little bit, which we'll cut now. All right, guys. So the VRChat SDK, when it's finished importing, will show this little menu here. And this will show up every time you open up the world. So we can just get out of this. So we currently have the VRChat SDK imported to the world. Now we need to import all of our normal stuff. So if you are signed up with Unity, you should see a tab up here that says Asset Store. You click on that, it will connect you to the um, Unity's Asset Store. First things we're going to search for is the Pro Builder. The current Pro Builder we're looking for is the Pro Builder version 2.x. This one right here. As you'll see, it says for me it's just purchase, but this is free, so you won't have to pay for this. Once you click on purchase or download, just click import. And it'll be the same as if you're importing the VRChat SDK. Click import and we'll cut whenever this is finished. All right. Whenever a new import actually happens sometimes, the VRChat SDK uh, menu will pull up again. Um, so that's a kind of a nice indicator that it has been imported correctly. And just to be sure, down here you should see a folder that says Pro Core. Whenever you get new assets and you import them, they'll show up down here in the assets section. So each ones are important. So the next one we're gonna be looking at is we need to get the Simple Light Probe Placer. So just type that in here, Simple Light Probe Placer. And you'll see this is the first one that comes up in the list. Same thing as we did before, download and import. It should be free as well. Once again, we'll wait for it to finish. This one didn't take very long, so we'll exit out of this. And down here it should say Simple Light Pro Placer. Now we can head back to our scene, and this is our scene with our new items here. So today we're going to be discussing just the basics of, v of Unity itself so that you can get used to it. Here's your scene here. Now you'll be thinking, all right, so how do I get around the scene? It's actually very simple. If you click on your scene itself, you, you notice you can't really do anything. You can click on some things here with, left with uh, the left click. Um, but if you hold right click, you'll pan around and you'll do a, like a vision here. If you're holding right click and then you use WASD, you can actually move around in the world. Kind of like this. And the longer you hold WASD, the faster your movements will go. As you'll see here. If you hold shift, you'll actually go faster. So you can just, you know, get over here and stuff like that. If you hold a uh, middle mouse button, you'll actually pan. So you'll, you won't rotate like this. You can just pan if you need to like get over here to something. So I'm over here, that way. Um, now, instead of holding right click and moving around like this, you can also zoom in and out using the uh, middle mouse button, just scrolling in and out like normal. So like this light source here, I need to get closer to that. You can scroll in and there's the light source. Now, when you click on something, you'll see that there's these arrows here. These are moving, this is how you will move things within your scene. Up, you'll move it by the y-axis, the x-axis, and the z-axis. Same thing over here with the light source, and this will include any object you have inside your hierarchy. You can also just click on the item itself in your hierarchy, and it'll select it within your scene. Now, for us, we're just going to go ahead and we, if you right-click anywhere, if you right-click on your hierarchy, You'll notice you can copy, paste, rename, duplicate, delete, whatever in here. But you'll see you can create some things. You can create an empty, empty. It'll create an empty within your main hierarchy. You'll see an empty object doesn't have a model. It doesn't look like anything. It's just has these directional pads. 
These will be useful if you're creating things like chairs and stuff like that, if you need sitting down, or you need just a spawn point. So these are relatively useful, but you won't, might not be using them much. And they're named game object in the hierarchy. You can also create cubes, spheres, capsules, cylinders, planes, uh, quads, ragdolls, terrains, trees, wind zone, and a 3D text. Of course, you can create a pro builder cube like so, but you won't be able to edit this, which we'll get more into uh, next video. You can also create effects, 2D objects, um, light sources here, audio sources, video players, and of course, some UI elements. And you can also place a new camera on your scene as well. If we right click down here in the assets section, you can import some new assets. You can import the packages here, export packages, refresh them, re-import stuff, and also open up the C Sharp editor which uh, you won't need to be doing any C-sharp editing when you're creating VR chat worlds. On the right here is your inspector tab. So if you click on an object, let's say your directional light, you'll see that the inspector, you'll be able to edit some things. You'll be able to change the name, make it to where it's on or off in your world, change the type of lighting, like a spotlight, directional light, point light, things like that. Change the color of your light, change it from real time to baked, different kind of settings for each object and it changes between objects. So like your camera, you'll see it's different. Like it'll tell you, you know, what background you want. If there's a calling on the, on the camera, you can add components as well, which is very important. We'll be using that for certain things throughout this services tab. You will probably never use at all while you're building your world. Um, a nice little menu. If you actually go into window, and you select lighting here, you click on settings, you will actually get the lighting tab. It should be actually pulled up like so. This is like what the menu you will pull up. A nice little trick is to bring it over here, is to drag this tab here and just slap it on there. This way, you'll have a lighting tab here that you can edit the lighting of the whole world. Change the skyboss source, uh, change the intensity of that, you know, real time, and then you can generate your lighting down here if you have any baked lighting, which we will be using baked lighting in most of our worlds. If you click on the top here, you'll see you have your tabs like file, edit, assets, game objects, components, um, tools, windows, and help. These are the default ones, but if you see there's VRChat SDK, we want to click on show control panel. Usually takes a little bit to load. And while it's loading, you'll notice you can't really click on anything. So whenever you first get into this, um, this is the new SDK version. Older SDK versions will have will look different, but this is the new one, which I actually like. Uh, there's an authentication tab. It should automatically bring up. Just sign in with your VR chat account. Click sign in. And it'll actually tell you your status. So you'll see I'm able to publish public worlds and avatars. The builder tab here is requiring you to say, hey, this needs to have a scene descriptor or avatar descriptor to build this content to a world. Your content manager will show you all of the avatars and all of the worlds you have created. As you see, I have my current national park, my hub world, my freedom land, and my tavern, as well as my avatars that are um, there or not. Settings tab will show you all your settings. Um, as well as like developer options, um, performance details, the uh, pr future proofing publishing, and where your install client path is at. You can edit this or revert it back to default. We'll close out of that. And that wraps it up, honestly, for this episode. Um, you kind of just, all we did really was learn the basics of VR chat here. So, Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it and everything like that. Stay tuned for the next episode when we will actually start building the world. Thank you.